Well, good afternoon, everyone. So good to have you with us on this gorgeous Wednesday afternoon. It is beautiful sunshine out here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're so glad that you decided to be with us today as we prepare for homecoming this weekend. So much is on the horizon in terms of activities, celebrations, you name it, is happening this week and this weekend. So, we invite you into the room, into our space. Come in and get yourselves situated uh, so you can have just a few moments of meditation. Think about what's around you, how you're feeling right now. Hmm. If there's any tension in your body right now, why don't you just breathe through that for a moment? Come on, let's breathe. Let's in inhale. And exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale. How does that feel? Let's do it again. Ready? This time, instead of just inhaling and exhaling, uh, let's reach up as high as we can, like we're trying to touch the ceiling. Good stretch. And then just relax. How does that feel? Feels good, doesn't it? Did you stop today to, to think and to... Uh, to be in touch with how you're feeling. Yeah, so let's do that again. One more time. Let's reach up to the ceiling. And then let's relax. If we had time, we'll, we would just go through the entire process of stretching and breathing. And getting ourselves into a, a good, healthy place. That's what we're going to talk about today. Right prior to coming on today, had an opportunity to be with my, my co-workers here at Emory, Liz Martin, who's at the controls today. Thank you, Liz, and Zachary Cole. Just got a chance to get away from the norm of the day and spend some time together. Even though it was preparation for this, we had an opportunity to laugh a little, smile, just to be in touch with each other. And that's so important for you today, wherever you are, make sure. See this puzzle in front of you? There's so much to be done, right? If you look at your to-do lists, if you look at your agenda, if you look at all the emails and the meeting uh, confirmations that you have for today, yeah, it's all happening. But guess what? Take a pause. This is for station identification, as some stations say. <laughs> but your station identification is for you to stop and recognize that you need to take a pause. The puzzle is there. And it's going to be completed at some point. But you have to be okay to take your finger off the, the, the pieces of puzzles or the, the puzzles that you have uh, in your grasp and be able to step back and say, let me breathe for a moment. And I thank Liz for this illustration before we went on. As many of you know, I'm a choir director. And Liz, you can keep it there too, Liz. Uh, not all the choir members breathe at the same time when you're singing a piece of music. Audiences don't recognize it, but choirs are trained in what we call stagger breathing. Uh, it's something that we do to allow the strength of the music to continue, the fluidity of the music to continue, the phrasing and the, the nuances in the music to, to allow it to continue to flow without interruption. But there are built into the, that flow there's built-in rests, pauses, situations where 
there is silence. So just like you today, look at your office. See this office? There's nobody at that desk. That person has decided to get up, take a walk and get out of the office. Get away from those things that are bombarding your mind, that are keeping you so busy that you can't be present. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna meditate on pause. Pause means a temporary stop, an interruption, a period of rest, a time of preparation, a breathing space. We are built and born to soar, to rise high, but a key element of a flight plan is what? A pause. Have you ever noticed that before an aircraft takes flight, it pauses at the end of the runway, then it accelerates, right? Then it ascends, 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 so you take flight. The same thing happens in a race. We're familiar with, on your mark, get set, go. So a pause prepares you for liftoff, a sprint, or an ascension to a higher place. And without a pause, you're prone to continue or to continuous movement that can and often does result in exhaustion or being overwhelmed. Don't be afraid to stop temporarily, to discontinue activity, to prepare uh, in order to take off. Know this, there are times when you simply must pause to be lifted or to raise yourself into a high way of thinking and be living and being. So set an intention to take some time, make some time to simply pause to be. Thick not hung says the past is gone, the future is not yet here. And if we do not go back to ourselves in the present moment, we cannot be in touch with life. Let's get in touch with life. Would you do that with me? Just pause. If you're in your office right now, close your eyes. Free your hands of anything, your devices, pens, paper, and just free yourself from any obligation to do anything but to be here now there's this little prayer that goes like this I need your sense of time always I have an underlying anxiety about things sometimes I am in a hurry to achieve my ends and am completely without patience it is hard for me to realize that some growth is slow that not all processes are swift I cannot discriminate between what takes time to develop and what can be rushed because my sense of time is dulled. Oh, to understand the meaning of perspective, that I may do all things with a profound sense of leisure of time. I need your sense of water. The confusion of the details of living is sometimes overwhelming. The little things keep getting in my way, providing ready-made excuses for failure to do and be what I know I ought to do and be. Much time is spent on things that are not very important while significant things are put in insignificant place in my scheme of order. I must unscramble, as in the puzzle, my affairs so that my life will become order. I need your sense of order, most high God, creator. I need your sense of the future. Teach me to know that life is ever on the side of the future. Keep alive in me the future look, the high hope. Let me not be frozen either by the past or the present. Grant me, O oh patient one, 
your sense of the future without which all life would cease to exist. So today, our centering thought is this. The present moment is my place of healing. Let's focus on being still. Focus on the true calm within. When there is tension rising within us, the quicker we can get back to the meditative calm, the easier the anxiety dissolves to restore a sense of peace. Liz, Liz, let's go for a walk in Low Water Park real quick. This is Low Water Park located on the campus of Emory. If you're in that area, why don't you go take a walk out there if you, if you just have a few minutes to spare. It's nothing like being in contact with nature, but take a friend with you maybe <clears throat> as support. I love you guys today. I just felt moved to say that. And I hope that someone has told you today how important you are and that you matter as we continue to pray for rural peace we also pray for inner peace we pray for peace of our neighbor whether that be our roommates co-workers staff members professors educators let's hold each other up in the highest regard esteem each other more highly than yourselves provide peace stability and the only way you can do that is sometimes you have to unplug hide you are <laughs> you are so wonderful and your friendships mean everything even as we get ready to celebrate homecoming it's all about the, the connections all about reliving the past but also being inspired about what is to become in our futures you know we share the stories about what we're doing, what our majors are, what we're doing in our professions. But the main thing, the most important thing is our health, how we're doing. Be whole, find that which makes you feel alive present and worthy of all that you desire I'm, I'm gonna sing this song I'm gonna try it okay it's just like the chorus of a piece it's an old song maybe people in my generation will remember but I extend this to you in our moments of pause and as we avail ourselves to be friends I need you but the song goes like this. <clears throat> keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. Know today that you are friend, that you are seen and that you are recognized, and that you are loved. Take some time to experience it.
be good to yourself and be good to others. Thanks for joining us today. Hope to see some of you at homecoming. But if not, we look to see you again next week. You all take care.